What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Mad Max. My name is Splattercat. Stoked to have you here today. I figure we should probably upgrade our car slightly, right? So let's go through here. We'll take a look at all the things that we have available and we'll see if... Ew, that gives me way more attack, but I hate how everything has a balance on it. It's, it upsets me. I wish that just once we could get an upgrade that did not cost us like a car related upgrade because we can upgrade the weapons and stuff and it doesn't cost us. But when it comes to this stuff over here, unfortunately, it's all got a lot of weight to it. We could slap a new engine in this Betty if we wanted to. Give us a little bit more acceleration. It hurt our handling slightly. It all depends how I want to trade my handling, though. And so gut gash is territory to knock it down to three before we can get the new tires. That would more than likely, I think, give us better handling to play around with so that we have a bit more to bargain with. Suspension we have maxed out for the time being. Boost we have... Actually, there's another boost at the top right there. I'm going to save it for a second, though, because we only have 1,700. We get some Ripperonis, which we've had the entire time, but for whatever reason, I failed to equip properly, so I guess that'll be that. Now that we got the Ripperonis on there, Border Spikes keeping us all nice to take it care of. I think the Sniper Rifle had one more upgrade. Yeah, to make the reload time go quicker. I don't think we get Sideburners until we do some other stuff. The Thunder Poons. I think that's our best call right there. I'm going to upgrade the Thunder Poons real fast. Oh, there's another upgrade over the top that we can get. Jesus, we can make those things super good. We can decrease our... Yeah, do that, actually. Let's go ahead and... Thunder Poons are such a fantastic little boon to have around. You might as well call them Thunder Boons. Those things are fantastic. They turn you into the Zeus of the road. You can just throw that shit all over the place. I always hated it. I hate it when people are like, You're stealing my thunder right now. I'm like, Who are you, Zeus? Calm down. It's not that big of a deal. Your thunder barely fizzles, bro. It's not that big of a deal. It's more like the static electricity that accumulates on a wool jacket. That's kind of like your thunder. It's not actually like the boom, boom, boom kind. We have things to do today. And because we have things to do, I don't know if I should focus on the main quest or what we should try to get done here. I don't even think that I have a... Did I do a balloon out here? I don't think that I did. Yeah, I think the closest balloon that we've done is like over on this side. I guess we could go after the main quest mission or we could go... We could try and knock out some of these convoys first, I guess. Let's knock out a convoy. Let's go do that. I'm going to go fight with a convoy. And then we'll get ourselves like a new hood ornament or something. That'll be cool. They all do fun different stuff. So some of them increase the damage of various things that you have equipped on your car. They make you faster. They make you turn better. They do all kinds of stuff. Essentially, they're kind of like the, the ring slots. If this was an RPG where you had like a paladin or like a warrior, it would just be your ring slots. And I am creeping up on my mic right now. I just realized it. I'm looking at the sound levels while I'm recording this. Oh my god, I am peeking out like crazy. Every time I hit a plosive, it's because somehow my mic has gotten really close to my mouth. I'm like swallowing the damn thing right now. Oh, there they are. We already found them. Get the Thunder Poons out. I'm going to ride these Thunder Poons super heavy while we're in here. Let's get them. I can't see what we're up against. Looks like some level one armor. Doesn't look like that big of a deal. Thunder poon him. Oh, that took him out quick. That took him out real quick. All right, little bit of loving right there. Boost back up to speed once they fall off. I'm going to try and rip the tires off one of these bastards. Although, will they take off and run after I kill their leader? I don't know. We're about to find out. Yeah, give it to him, Dougie. I'm about to give him a little bit on the side with the grinders. There we go. Let him have it. And then I'm going to try and get his tire off real quick. So there goes his tire. But this dude right here, he's going to try and board us, but that's okay. Lost a little bit of speed on that side. Oh, shit. I spun out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got this. I just got to recover real quick. I got to get back on the road. Otherwise, these dudes are going to be gone real quick. Thunder Poons, you all ready to go? We got one behind us, but he's trailing. That's okay. All right. I'm going to try and get him with the Ripperonis up here. There it is. A little bit of loving right there. Give him the tappity tap. He's going to get impaled on our boarding spikes. And then from here, we should be able to take this and make it happen with the Ripperonis, I hope. Oh, wow. What just happened with his armor? It looked like it flashed back up to full or something. Man, he's turning on the boost. He's getting up and out of here. It's not going to outrun these Thunder Poons, though. Back up real quick. And you, sir, chosen. All right. So there it is. We leveled up, too. So that's nice. Good little... Oh, that thing is so sick. So what does that do? 
That thing looks bad. I put that on the front. I don't even care. It has to go on the front. Oh, dude. Look at that thing. All it needs is like a chrome microphone in front of it now. And it would look so legit. Oh my god, we would be the coolest guy on the road. The coolest. I know it doesn't really matter in a post-apocalyptic world who is coolest, but I feel like coolism really determines who wins a lot of these fights. Yeah, definitely not taking off with those. Hmm. That failed miserably. Fine then, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. I didn't want to do it the fun way anyways. I just wanted to do it there. Oh, we're in gut gashes? I thought we were in Jeet's territory. Huh. Okay. Well, I kind of want to know what that hood ornament does, so I'm going to teleport over here, and we're just going to... What is that outfit? How come I don't have that one? He's like a wasteland pirate. Yar, give me your scrap. Or I'll feed ye to the sea beasts. I don't know. It seems awesome. I want it. All right, so in the... Gr I could have done this from my menu. I just realized that... So what does this hood ornament do? This gives you an attack boost. Personalize the magnum opus with this. Get a attack boost. That gives me a handling boost. What does this one do? It gains a weaponry boost. So maybe that just makes me hit harder, possibly? I don't know. Either way, I'm keeping the one that we have so I can ram people better because it sounds like fun. It makes me happy that I can ram people more efficiently. Let's go down here and do this one, too. So many hood ornaments we can fetch out today. That's what I, yes, I would like to travel over there. That is why I press the R key instead of the F key, for example. Or mayhaps the L key. An L key sounds like, you know how old people are always part of like those social clubs? Apparently those were a thing when my parents were younger. They were called social clubs like the Elk Lodge and the Moose Lodge. Elkies, it sounds like what they would call themselves if they, like, went to an elk lodge. They'd be like, we are the Elkies, we wear hats, we do charity, how about that? Like, I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. Social clubs don't really exist anymore. My dad used to be on a bowling club. Like, my dad was a competitive... My dad did all kinds of... You know what? I've told about my dad before. My dad's, like, one of those guys who just, like, has done everything. Ah! That was pretty fun. I enjoyed... Oh, yeah, we got Wheeler Dealer. What does that do for me? Wheeler dealer, what new things do you have for me? We've got a roll bar guard. I will take it because I desire that and it makes me happy. And when things make me happy, I take them. Short hair and beard with goggles. That's pretty legit. It's got kind of like a steampunk, oil punk, you know, grit punk thing going on. I like it. What's on this side? What can we do with this? Oh, it just adds the goggles and then you can take the other hairs. Okay. I wanted the one that was... Man, you can get in there, can't you? There's a whole bunch of those. There's a lot of unlockables in this game. Legitimately, there are a lot of things for you to unlock. I don't think we can go any further right here. I think we need Deathwalker for that. So you gotta be up there for that one. What combat moves did we get? What does that do? A powerful move that shatters shields. Oh, that'd be really nice. Allows a melee weapon reversal even after a normal parry. Okay, well, I mean, I'm not going to spend scrap on any of that stuff right now. We got convoys to kill. Thunderpoons to throw. Did I get both of them with that? Oh, I did. I blew up too. Hell yeah. Okay, exactly what I hoped for. This should be quick, though. These guys are low level. It shouldn't be much of a challenge, I don't think. This is one of the ones you could have taken in the early game. There's a little bit of damage for you. Come on, get off the road. I'm doing this the old-fashioned way because I don't like you like that. You can't use any of my special Thunderpoon. Oh, shit. Okay, so I don't want you chasing me anymore. So there goes your tire. Get out of here. I just want you to leave me alone. It's weird how easy it is to in-cap one of those vehicles and get them out of your face once you have, like, a couple of upgrades. A little bit more damage right there. He tried to set me on fire, but bim, bam, bomb. He can't stop me. We got this covered. Hood ornament. Is that the same one we had? I'm going to exit real fast, and then we'll take a look at it. So what does that do? I wish it said when you picked it up what it does. So we got the one with the curvy horns. What does this one do? Oh, that also gives me an attack boost. So it sort of just depends whether I want handling or whether I want attack. I'll throw that one on the back. You might as well make us a little nastier. 
I mean, handling is always kind of shit in this game anyways, so why worry about it too much? I'm gonna grab whatever I can from over here because we are a little bit low on scrap, but that went really, really well. I'm gonna go back to Jeet so that I can relock and load. Actually, doesn't that give me... Yeah, it gave me an armory there, and did it give me an armory up here too? Hell yeah. Okay, so it gave us both in all those locations. We should be nice and magical there. Eliminating the threat over here, I mean, we did a really good job in this sector, but... Eh. I see no reason to sort of hang around over on this side and keep banging our heads against things. Instead, I'm gonna go to this side and we'll do this southern mission over here. We'll get it banged out. Yeah, he's got like a tactical vest in some of the pictures. It's not like a full tactical vest, but it's one of those things that like goes over the top. It gives you like water storage and stuff. Man, that one on the back is hella badass too. Damn, dude. We need more hood ornaments. This is what's up. We're doing this thing. Why am I going all the way around the horn when I can just do that? I mean, yeah, it damages my car, but I'm not really that worried about it. Can I upgrade my wrenches yet? Like, when can I fix my car better? I feel like we've gone like half the game as the wrench turns. Oh, well, if we lower the threat in gut gashes territory a little bit, we can leapfrog that one. Unless, like, it's a prerequisite that we have to do that quest for the other one, too. I don't know. Either way, you would think we would have at least one repair upgrade by now. One would assume. Go ahead and open this thing on up. Ain't no reason to travel slow here. Acceptable. Acceptable. At least we landed pointed in the right direction. I don't really care about a crash so long as the nose stays in the right direction. It's when you end up all flipped around and then you gotta back out and be like, beep, 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 do like a 38 point turn. That's when I don't enjoy falling off of things. But as long as we land straight, I don't even care. Oh good, we got a snipey over here. Does he though? I gotta get into that camp. One less sniper. So where are we going? Where are you taking me right now? No, I didn't say I wanted to go over there. I said I wanted to go over... Oh, dude, what? Ugh. That is a frustration. On the plus side, I got to shoot a lot of snipers, so that's pretty cool. Oh, look, we upgraded. We got new... Ex wow, we got all kinds of new exhaust. They all suck, but we got new exhaust. Okay. I wish that there was some passive upgrade for buying these, too. I don't know, because every now and again, it seems like the game is tailored where you leapfrog, like, all the upgrades, and then it doesn't matter anyways. Oh, we got some new tires, though. Man, I need some new tires bad. Tires and suspension both make me happy, because the two of those right there will max out our handling meter, which means after that I can afford to put in the V6 and, like, get this thing all nice and slapped in. Yup. It'll be on. All right, so let's spin around this way. I guess I was going in the wrong direction, and it's my fault, and I should cry myself to sleep and never make YouTube videos ever again. Right now, there's some hater that's like, finally! Oh, my God, he finally goes away. You finally go. You don't get no views, bro. You don't get no views. Why don't you just quit? And I'm like, because I don't know. I don't know, because you start doing something for so long that it just becomes routine, and then you just keep doing it, even when you're bad at it. You're like, ah, whatever. Just, like, stop worrying about it after a while. And then it just becomes part of the daily thing that you always do until the end of the day. And then you're like, alright, cool. You still have haters. I mean, they never go anywhere. People just hella mad. Just mad. Playing video games all day long. They're just like, meh. It upsets me that you're happy. Be unhappy like me, please. That's the only way that I can accept the world. And any frame of reference is if you are equally as unhappy as I am. This is perchance the reason why me and all my friends are miserable cusses. Cuss? I don't know. Cusses doesn't sound good. I'd use other words, but this is the PG channel. Too high to climb. There's probably another way inside. Yar. We use a harpoon. This roadblock is unworthy. I destroy you. It's not much of a block, though. It's more of a road plane. It's a vertical road plane. Oh, I can't get out of my car. Hold on. You could cross over to the other side. Wait here. Yes. 
Hammer for Go on! I will tend to. I know you will. The car. The woman wasn't mine. What is this? Like, how does this help me? Like, why do I care about this vehicle? Do I get the body or something? Tank's empty. Uh, maybe there's some cans around. Dude, they got like Viking style tombs that they put all their corpses in after you die in combat. That's pretty cool. A vehicular tomb. I can see a couple of the rockabilly guys like where I live. There's a big rockabilly scene where I live. Like, for real, there are a lot of rockabilly people. And they have car shows and stuff around here all the time. So, anyways, hot rod shows. I bet half these are going to be empty. I did a balloon the other day. It was off camera, but I did a balloon, and all the tanks there were empty, and so you couldn't refill the balloon. Let's... Where does this refuel from? Where's the fuel tank at? Oh, it's in the back? Okay. Works for me. It raises a question of how the hell we're going to get this out of here, though. Is there a winch or anything like that? Like, how do I lift this out of here? Look at that, it still works. They were smart enough to store it with an empty tank. I'm assuming this is gonna give me some kind of badass upgrade. Oh, look at that, it's got nitrous, unlike all the other vehicles in the game, except for the one that we built. Dude, it's got a, what? It's got a skeleton on the back holding on to motorcycle. This is the coolest, co Oh my god, whoever got to sit around and design these vehicles, I'm so goddamn jealous of that. Like, that is the coolest job ever. You just got to hang out all day and design wicked-ass vehicles with just, like, skeletons and cool stuff all over them. I have no artistic talent, so unfortunately I probably wouldn't do very well at that job. I'd be like, so I drew this stick figure, and imagine that this stick figure of a human is a car, and so our little car kin guy right here, imagine that also on this stick figure of a man that is also a car that mayhaps on the back end look I'll put another stick figure that's gonna be a skeleton that's on the back of the man figure that is actually a car and you see how that works right there I know it's pretty awesome right I designed that myself onwards and upwards we go to Blizzard Vivendi my career is secured that's a legit that's super I mean I like El Caminos and stuff anyways I can't really tell what this is it's got kind of like an El Camino-ish thing going on with it though and then the fact that they just put, like, a motorcycle rider in the back of the car. That must have been a big dude, too. Like, where did they get a skeleton that big? That must have been a big-ass dude. That guy must have been huge. Like, gargantuan. Andre the Giant-looking guy. Either way, it's super awesome, and I hope I get to mount one on the back of my car after I turn this in. I don't think it's going to work like that. But we can hope, and we can dream. That's, like, 80% of the process is hoping and dreaming. And then there's also a lot of crying and generally just feeling depressed, but, you know, the creative process is different for everybody. Don't hit, I ran my brand new super awesome turbo vehicle into a wall. What does this do for me, though? Like, what do I get out of this? Probably a new body type, maybe? Or a new paint job, possibly? So it's not clear if the Demented Chariot will come in handy, but it does have power and speed. Let's hope the ghosts of the past won't haunt my dreams. So it looks like we got something new out of here, maybe. I don't see anything around, though. Nothing says new next to it, so... Hmm... I could drop the new V in here, give us a little bit more acceleration. I'll probably do that, make us accelerate a little bit better. And so now we got a new V6. Oh, look at that right there. It's gold. I like that. In a real pimping way, I like that. And so that one right there gives us further acceleration, but the engine's getting heavier and heavier and heavier as we upgrade it. So, you know, I guess it's just a vehicle for my collection. I don't know. It doesn't seem that awesome to me. Maybe we should do a death race, possibly? This is the means for the Wasteland to become one with a vehicle to write a passage and necessary to gain access to all vehicles in the world. Each death run offers a unique variety of cars and archangels to run and collect. Completing a death run also unlocks a, a permanent fuel source at the starting line location. 
you never run out of fuel anyway, so I don't know. I think they should have been a little bit more strict with fuel. You can assume that most of these cars are probably not very efficiently built or well maintained. And so I would assume that fuel mileage would vary. They should have made it. I think the fuel probably should go down maybe two or three times as fast because it's just never an issue in this game. And I think that actually locks out a really interesting part of playing. I think that the fuel was something that excited me. The thought of having to fight for fuel and ending up stranded without it. And then it's just never been a problem the entire game. So I don't know. Like I carry around a fuel can and I've never had to refuel yet. Yeah, she got a little bit more giddy up and go right now. Or giddy up and go done got up and went before. And so I think we done fixed that problem. And we've got a good max speed. The handling is always sort of questionable on these vehicles anyway. So it's not really that big of a deal to lose a bit of it. We got tire upgrades coming up. So once I upgrade the tires and the suspension, we should be able to throw a heavier engine in here. We sh oh, we got a convoy route out here. Well, that makes me sort of crave getting myself some freebies, but I'm going to leave it alone. That was a weak scarecrow, so it's not going to do much for me. Knock that. I wonder if you have to get rid of literally everything. 100% of everything on the map in order to get it down to zero. I bet you do. And this is the sort of game that I would totally do it in, too. Just not on camera. Just not on camera. I don't even know what we're looking for over on this side, but that two mission was kind of cool. Hadn't seen anything like it up until this point. Get the... No, shoot it. Oh, that would have been so awesome if I had pulled it off, but it didn't whip out the way that I wanted it to. There we go. I knew I probably wasn't going to be able to ram the damn thing. I wasn't going to be able to make it work, but I wanted to go by and get it anyways while we were here. Oof. It's a nasty little barrier. Luckily, we're almost at our destination, so Chum can fix it up while we're up inside the building. Still shine. What do you know about the Eastern Tunnels? I, I know them. Burrows of the old steel serpents. Huh? There's fine steel there. Oh, yes, yes. Huh? But buzzards also. Red eyes. Oh, he's watching. Just show me where it is. I read a review the other day of this game where he said how much he hated Chum. Like, Chum Bucket was his least... He, he like, ruined the entire game for him. Like, I don't know. I don't think he's annoying as some... I mean, he's not as annoying as, like, Navi, for example from Legend of Zelda where I'm just like shut the hell up like all the time I mean he repeats the same dialogue every now and again but for the most part he interjects a little bit of knowledge in the world and I like him there's an opening huh? over there huh? big enough to slide through is it on this side oh yeah looks like this was some kind of sluice gate or something I'm not really sure what this was I'll go around oh certainly certainly Turn on the flashlight so that at least I got a visual on what's going to happen to me here. I want to look it in the eyes before it plunges a blade into me. Mash the button up a little bit right there. Okay, a little bit of scrap out. There it is. We have access. Wait! Sage! You don't need the car! Come back! Oh, apparently he's better at my job than I am. I guess I need the car. I didn't know I was trying to open the gate. Now I know. G.I. Joe and all that. We have a rocket launcher on our car. I feel like we could have circumnavigated that a bit. Just by, you know, ease of having badass firepower. Gonna be a tight fit. I try not to wreck this thing up too bad, he said as he wrecked his shit up too badly. See, I'm going to try not to wreck this up too badly as we go into here. Oh, tread carefully. There are buzzards in this hole. Indeed, there appear to be. Probably this way, maybe? A little bit of scrap on the floor, but I'm not desperate enough to get out and grab it. Yeah, they're in here. What makes their eyes glow like that? Rocked. Whatever it is, the angel can surely exercise the evil. Oh, we're going in on foot. Okay. 
Stay put. I wouldn't leave her. No, you know her. Turn my flashlight back on. I always thought it was weird they call it a flashlight though, because it doesn't flash. Subway. It basically just paints light everywhere. It just a flashlight would be like a strobe. It flashes, you know. Maybe they were naming it based on the way that you perceive it when you're not the one holding it, and it's like being shined in your face. It flashes in your eyes or whatever. I don't know. I don't contemplate these things. Well, I do, briefly, and then I give up. Because that's what life's all about. Thinking really hard about something and then just giving up because it makes your head hurt. Let's break this up right here. Okay, a little bit of scrap in there. Oh, look at that. We made some friends. I'm gonna get up in this guy's business real fast. That works. Yeah, sure. Why not? Shiv punish right there. But mostly I'm gonna save both my rounds and my shivs for the shield guys that inevitably show up whenever you fight with the buzzards. Is he dead? Or is he still up? I think he's dead, but he's got the swirly around his head, so it's hard to tell sometimes. Was I supposed to bring the vehicle in here? I mean, I felt like they really forced me out of my car when I went inside of there. But it's hard to tell. Hey, loot. I like loot. Freebie shotgun shell that we didn't need. Let's break this bad boy open. That right there, that is the knife of attack of a man who knows what he's doing. Like, ah, I wave this shiny piece of metal at you in the hopes that I will cut your flesh and rend it. I did need another knife, though, so thanks for that, man. I probably don't want to touch those with my meaty, human, non-steel-clad body. Probably not going to turn out well for me. Little bit more lovely shiny stuff over there and considering our cash flow is Really 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 bad right now. I'll probably just leave that chilling and pick it up right I'll use the car to push it out How exactly are you gonna do that genius when we have no car? Also, how do you get up in there? Oh, you gotta jump I use the game's weird jump mechanic that they appear to have implemented at the 23rd hour. Alright, so where is my car at then? Like, assuming for a moment, I have to be able to get my vehicle down in here. Does it loop back around this way? Nah. I don't see any openings that are indicative over here. I'm going to find my way back to my car. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and break off the episode right here so you guys don't have to suffer through me getting back to the car and bringing it over here. I will start up the next episode once I get the car to this location. My name is Splattercat. I will see you all in the next episode. This is Mad Max, a game that I am enjoying tremendously. So I will see you all later. How do you do, everybody?